Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given quadratic inequality and eventually we are going to graph it on a real number line. So the very first thing I want to make sure that our leading coefficient is positive. As you can see that this is negative we must make it positive. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply across the board this whole inequality by negative sign to make it positive. So that's the very first thing we need to do. So we're going to multiply all the way. So this when you multiply this is going to become positive 2x squared. This negative and negative become positive 1x minus 3 and then look at this inequality when you multiply by negative sign you switch this inequality you reverse it so it's going to go the other way around so it's going to go this way and then this is going to be equal to zero and in this step the very first thing from the previous step we have this inequality greater than or equal to now to make things simple and easy we wanna remove that inequality and put an equal sign instead so let's pretend that there's no inequality and there's an equal sign so that's gonna make our job a lot easier so now we have a quadratic equation we wanna solve for x so the very first thing we're gonna do is we wanna find the factors so let's go ahead and find the factors. So the possible factors are 2x plus 3 times x minus 1 equal to 0. So first of all, I want you to split them up. So 2x plus 3 equal to 0. The other one is going to be x minus 1 equal to 0. I want you to move this 3 on the other side so this become 2x equal to negative 3 divide both sides by 2 so x turns out to be negative 3 over 2. That's our 1x value and here our other x value is x equals to 1. And in this uh, next step, uh, what I did is I put it back my inequality symbol as you can see. So now we're going to go ahead and graph this inequality. And these are our x values that we found out in our previous step. One thing before we go any further, I want to tell you if you have a, this kind of inequality, that means we're going to have a closed circle just make sure we have a closed circle and here is are the info that i put down to help you out while we are doing all these kind of graphing so the next thing what we want to do is we start graphing this uh, inequality on a number line and here is our number line let's go ahead and look for uh, numbers negative 3 over 2 and 1. So negative 3 over 2 is same as negative 1.5. So it's going to be of course going to be a closed circle. So it's going to be right up here somewhere. Okay. So I just want to make sure this is going to be right in the middle. And the other one is, one is going to be right up here, as you can see. And one more thing over here, whenever you have greater, that means this is going to indicate that it's going to, both arrows going to be in the opposite direction. Just keep in your mind. So they are going to go in the opposite direction direction so that means one is going to go this direction as you can see the other way is going to go
please bear with me i'm not a good artist so we did this one okay so we almost got this one so let me just go ahead and put down so this is gonna be x is less than negative 3 over 2 and this side x is gonna be greater than 1 so far so good and now our solution is gonna be a simply x you're gonna put it down like this thing x is less than negative 3 over 2 and whenever you have opposite means you always put or always and then x is greater than 1 so this is our solution this is our graph and now you might be wondering why it is in the opposite direction so to satisfy that question i'm going to justify by giving you this graph now in this graph you see this x axis and then we have a, this graph that represents this quadratic function so right now as you can see we have greater than inequality isn't it this is greater than whenever you have a greater than means it's going to be always this function is always going to be above the x-axis above x-axis means that uh, we're going to have this shaded region on this side above axis okay so on this side as well goes on and on and on and on so far so good so our shaded region is going to be that one so that means we're going to have so on the real number line that's going to represent only this side you see this one over here so this goes on this side and this goes on this side no wonder i put these one in the opposite direction as you can see over here and finally if you want to put your answer in terms of set notation it's really simple you just put go ahead and put down x such that x is going to be simply x is less than negative 3 over 2 or x is greater than 1 so that is our set notation and for interval notation you have to be careful over here so when it goes to left hand side that's gonna go to negative infinity when it goes on the other side right hand side it goes to positive infinity so we got on this side this interval is gonna be simply negative infinity to negative 3 over 2 and that's gonna be bracket over here be careful because we have a this point is included and then you put a u u stands for union and then you put a again bracket over here and you can look at over here i put it down as well so it's gonna be a one comma positive infinity and infinity has a parenthesis on this side so that's your answer Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.